All right, I am retroactively <laughs> recording some matches because I had the replay saved and I thought, why the fuck not? So let's look at what the hell I did when I played I'm Nobody in Yummy Boot Camp Order? Semifinals? Something like that. All right, well, I'm just gonna look at me because I know me. I didn't see what the hell that played, but it was probably a block. Alright, yep. And like a sneaky bitch, he throws me. Which, I don't really mind. Like, Lum's throws are not all that threatening, especially not in an early game. And, I mean, I lose a 6, but I'm not that concerned, partly because I have the 2 in hand. So, recurring it isn't outside the realm of possibilities. Alright, we dodge, which normally I don't do this quite so early, but I didn't have... But I mean, I have good follow-up, and like I said, I also have two truths. So, that helps. Go straight into Patriot Mirror shenanigans. Let's see what happens. I don't... Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I'm probably gonna attack something and then use that to... Then recur it. With two truths. If I know me. And I hope I do it, because otherwise it looks like I don't know what, I, what I'm doing. And I sincerely think he did that purely to cycle a card. He's like, my hand is butts! Need more cards. Oh my god, I didn't recur anything. And it looks like I went for a cheeky kind of situation. Oh, I didn't. I blocked in case he attacked. Alright. We just, we just take the throw here. Oh no! I'm really going the fuck in. Damn. God. Has it really been so long? Have I changed so much? <laughs> oh, fuck. But you know what? The deck's delivering, so I'm pretty okay with it. Yeah, now it's the two trues, so we're probably gonna get back Jack 10 7. Well, at least I know who I am in two truths. I wanna get a two, so I honestly probably leave these piles as, are, as they are. And I do. Alright, yeah. Yeah, there's a bearable hand. I got a good throw in it. Some K shenanigans. I think he throws to beat me. Oh no, he doesn't. Fuck him. Alright, let's spin it. Mmm. I, I don't know, I'll probably throw with the 8. So I have the faster throw later. Or, hmm. I do that maybe so I have a block. And because I both lose the 6 anyway. Yeah, I'm not entirely certain why I did that. <laughs> probably because I wanted to have the block in hand. A block that wasn't an ability, specifically. Alright, probably draw two truths, play two truths. Alright, we'll tax some shit. I'm gonna tax attacks. What the hell do I have? Do I do king? Alright. I, I do actually like taxing attacks here. Mostly to disincentivize people from doing it. Alright, I want to combo into the jack, but I won't because I need to have positive spin. So he's just going to take the 9 damage. Alright. Looks like I'm playing a little bit clumsy, but it's really working out, so I can't say that much bad shit about it. Oh look, there's a kitty over here while I record myself. He's having himself a time. Guys, I should cuddle him. King 10-7. <laughs> a six for even cross up slash additional damage off that jack. All right, what do I put where? All right, I did a king ten three. I guess I wanted to dodge. All right, that's fine. I can take it. You know, it'd be real fun here is if I ate through. Oh, I must eight six seven. Yeah, actually, I think I mentioned this before, but I love. I love J spin when the opponent is standing because they are stupidly incentivized to just dodge because they don't even have to worry about like J spin being safe in the sense that it does chip damage. It's like if you play J, I am 100% out of spin. But because that's true, I'm like, I feel like I am much more likely to throw you. I mean, it's not a hard rule, but that's how I feel about it. 
for all I know, like, that could just be bullshit and people don't do it. I think I'd leave it here because I have the... Oh, no, I don't. I want cards. <laughs> I don't have many. Yeah, I go in and out with that. Sometimes I leave it and do the chip, but I can see why I didn't. I didn't have the dodge to really make the, the Q spin all that damaging, so really I may have just been sacrificing life to, um, to gain a card. It's not strictly worth it. I mean, it's not bad here, because I have such a life lead, but there's no reason to let Lum in if you can prevent it, because... I wouldn't say Lum exactly has explosive damage, but he has significant enough damage that... Because, I mean, he hits you with like a 5, 6, 7, 8, and that's, what, 15, 26 damage? I mean, it's pretty decent. And depending on how many kings he has, like, he can really start racking that up here. Like, look at that. Closing life lead. Did a little under 20 damage. And... heals? Is that what he did? Nope, game 4 life, okay. I'm not a fan, personally, but I mean... Whatevs. Take what you can get. Hmm. Alright, alright. Man. Can't believe I didn't have an attack that beat that. Actually, yeah, I can't. Like, Quince <laughs> only has, what, three attacks that do beat it? Oh, I guess technically four if you count as two, but... Who would? I can't recall. I feel like I... Hmm. I feel like I either dodge or play Patriot Mirror here. Looks like it's dodge. Yeah! Yeah! And then obviously I Patriot Mirror. Then I get the Patriot Mirror effect, and then as long as I win combat, I can spin the Q. And I may go for the super cheeky setup and like 5 attack 9 throw. Like, I hope you didn't attack. Oh, I might even be kinder to myself do a 5 attack 7 throw. Oh, no I didn't. I went for the super safe. Oh, shit. If I had gone for the 5 attack 7 throw, I would have won a 1. But you know what? Them's the breaks. And this is the beginning of I Am Nobody's Salt. Whereas I'm just being a jovial little bitch. Mm. You know, he says that and like somehow I'm just ludicrously like didn't put it together. I was like, oh. Alright. We each reveal a nine of hearts. But mine's a block and his is a throw, so it wins. Technically the nine his nine throw just checkmates my nine generally. Faster throw speed than all. Yeah, insightful commentary where I can read cards. Crushed it. But I do have two jokers. Oh, so apparently I just gold burst. Oh! Ace transfer complete, am I right? Man, that works out real well. Yeah. Apparently I'm pretty pumped about that. Let's let's go, aces. Mmm, -mm, so tasty. Mmm. Oh well, he did find one of my aces. With jackpot. Oh no. Yeah, six attack into those two aces is lethal. I think he has a joker here. He do. He do have a joker here. And I did it that way so that I can spin the cube, play, um, Consent of the Governed. Yeah, and I decided to be cheeky and play that because dodge is so high. Oh. Wow, look at that. I'm so good at this game. And Mystic Juicer here bringing the hype. 
to Hypums. Alright, I think I just tack the 5 6 on it just to be safe. And that nets me a win! Pretty baller. By which I mean, that went pretty well for me. <coughs> Seems to me he did not play for Poker Flourish. And later I learned that a lum, a lum that does, aka Malorian Thug, um, I just don't, I didn't know how to play against that and I got destroyed. So different lum playstyles. Yeah, things happen. At any rate, that covers this match and I think I have a couple more to record. And since I've already broken them up, I'm gonna keep doing that. So, please enjoy. <laughs> <laughs>